In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use colors in paint code. Let's start with two icons. The first was created in paint code, and the second one, paper plane, was imported from an SVG file. If I want to make this icon green, I have to create a new color in the library. I will name it icon color. This color can be assigned to any shape in any canvas. Let's assign this color to stroke of the bubble in this icon. You can also assign the color directly from the inspector using a pop-up menu like this. Let's now do the same for the second icon. That's it. Both icons are now green. Now, when I change the color using Color Picker, you can see that all the changes are instantly visible on the canvas. Next, I would like this background oval to have a gradient fill. To do this, Let's create two colors that will define my background gradient. The first color will be named Top Color. It will be used as the gradient's first stop color. Now, let me show you one of Paint Code's most interesting features, derived colors. This top color will be based on my icon color. It will be derived using the shadow operation, which makes the base color darker. Let's set the shadow operation value to 40%. The second gradient color will be called bottom color. Again, it will be based on the icon color, but this time I will use the highlight operation instead with a value of 60%. When I create gradient and open the gradient control, I can assign any color from my library to color steps in the gradient. The first step will be top color, and the second will be bottom color. Once we have the gradient, we can assign it to the fill of the oval shape behind my icon. As you can see, the gradient has darker top and brighter bottom. I need to swap these colors. To reverse the order of colors in a gradient, just use the swap tool in the gradient control. Let's assign the same gradient to the background oval of my second icon. As you can see, the stroke color of my icon is a little bit lost in front of the background gradient. To fix this, I will create another color, Let's name it Icon Stroke Color. It will also be based on the icon color, derived using the highlight operation set at 80% value. Now I can assign this color to stroke of my icon by dragging the connection dot as we did before. Well, everything seems to be all right now. The last thing I would like to change is the stroke color of this background oval. For this, I will create another color, name it background stroke color, and set its base color to my icon color. We will now use the shadow operation. Let's assign the color to stroke of both ovals. It seems a little bit darker than I want, so let's fix this in the color picker by changing the amount of shadow operation. All parts of the icons are now using our newly defined colors. So now I can show you how changes of the base icon color are propagated to all its derived colors. When I move the hue slider, you can see that all the colors derived from my base color are automatically updated, and the icons change accordingly. Thanks a lot for watching.